Hello, I'm Obi, your host and narrator for today's storytelling. We're heading to a far off land. Can you tell where we might be going by what I'm wearing? The name of the story is Aladdin. Once upon a time, a boy named Aladdin lived with his mother. They were so poor that every day it was a struggle to find enough money for food. One day, a man came to their shack, saying that he was Aladdin's long lost uncle. When he said he would help Aladdin to make his fortune, Aladdin and his mother were delighted. Aladdin traveled with him into the desert until they came to a rock. The man pushed it aside, revealing a hidden cave. You must climb down into this cave and fetch a lamp that you will find there, he said. Bring it to me. Don't touch anything except the lamp. Wear this magic ring to protect you. Aladdin was afraid, but he dared not argue with his uncle. He put on the magic ring and climbed into the cave. As soon as he was through the entrance, his eyes grew wide with wonder. All around, piles of gold and jewels stretched from the floor to ceiling. Gemstones glittered in the dim light. Just one ruby would make Aladdin and his mother rich, but he did as he promised and touched nothing. At last he found a dull brass lump. Surely this can't be it, Aladdin thought, but he took it back to his uncle. When he got to the opening, he found he couldn't climb out of the cave holding the lamp. Pass it to me, his uncle said, then I will help you out. Help me out first, uncle, Aladdin replied, and then I will give you the lamp. No, the man shouted, first give me the lamp. When Aladdin refused, the man became angry. He rolled the stone over the opening to the cave, trapping Aladdin inside the dark. Uncle, Aladdin shouted, let me out. Ha, the man shouted, I'm not your uncle, fool. I'm a sorcerer. You can stay there and die if you don't give me the lamp. Aladdin wrung his hands in despair, and as he did so, he rubbed the magic ring the sorcerer had given him for protection. Suddenly, a genie sprang out. I am the genie of the ring. What do you require, O oh master? The genie bowed. Aladdin was astonished, but he thought quickly, Please take me home to my mother, he said, and, and immediately he was outside his mother's house. He told her everything that had happened, and she hugged him with relief. Oh, but Aladdin, she cried, we are still poor. The next day, Aladdin looked at the lamp he had fetched from the cave. It doesn't look like much, he thought, and he started to polish it, hoping he could sell it to get money for food. As soon as he rubbed the lamp, another genie appeared. I am the genie of the lamp. What do you require, O oh Lord? The genie asked. This time, Aladdin knew what to do. He asked the genie to bring food and money so that he and his mother could live in comfort. Life went on happily until one day Aladdin saw the beautiful daughter of the emperor. He fell in love and felt that he couldn't live without her, but how could he marry a princess? Aladdin thought and thought and finally he had an idea. He asked the genie for beautiful gifts to give to the princess. When the princess spoke to Aladdin to thank him for the gifts, she fell in love with him. They were married and Aladdin asked the genie to build them a beautiful palace. Hearing that a wealthy stranger had married the princess, the sorcerer guessed that Aladdin must have escaped from the cave with the lamp. One day, when Aladdin was out, the sorcerer disguised himself as a poor tradesman. He stood outside the palace, calling out, New lamps for old! New lamps for old! Aladdin's wife remembered the ugly brass lamp that Aladdin kept and took it to the man. The sorcerer snatched it from her, rubbed the lamp, and commanded the genie to carry the palace and the princess far away to his own home in another country. Where is my beautiful wife? cried Aladdin when he returned home, wringing his hands in despair. And as he did so, he rubbed the ring and the first genie appeared. What do you require, master? the genie of the ring asked. Please bring back my wife and palace, Aladdin pleaded but the genie of the ring was less powerful than the genie of the lamp. Then take me to her, so that I can win her back, Aladdin said. 
At once he found himself in a strange city, but outside his own palace. Through a window he saw his wife crying and the sorcerer sleeping. Furious, Aladdin climbed in through a window and crept to the bedroom. He slipped the magic lamp from beneath the sorcerer's pillow and rubbed it. What do you require, master? asked the genie. Take us right back home, Aladdin said, and shut this sorcerer in the cave for a thousand years. That will teach him a lesson. In a moment, the palace was back to where it belonged. With the sorcerer gone, Aladdin and the princess were safe again. They lived long and happy lives together and never needed to call on the genie again. The end. This is Obi. I am your narrator for Storytelling Time. Come see me again, will you? Bye-bye.